Hi, Father Stephen here. Congratulations on making it to the final day of the consecration to St. Joseph, the day of making that act of consecration. Uh, you know, in my history during that year of St. Joseph that we celebrated a few years ago, I went through that consecration myself. And it was just such a joy getting to know St. Joseph better and better. Um, and it really prepared me for coming here to St. Joseph's to participate in that spiritual life of our patron before I even knew he was going to be one of my patrons. Um, and so it's really a joy to be able to celebrate this consecration with you this year as I renew my consecration to him as well. Because as you've learned over the course of this period of prayer and of meditation, St. Joseph is a powerful patron. He is a wonderful intercessor for us and one who cares for us as he cared for his son, Jesus. You know, a lot of times we struggle in our lives to, you know, live up to the expectations of the Lord in our lives. And I imagine St. Joseph struggled a lot with that too. You know, as he was called to be father to a son he didn't actually father, literally, you know, as he was called to care for the Son of God. It's a powerful, powerful thing that we can reflect on in our own lives and recognize that we're called to do that in our own lives, in our own ways, because each of us has our own way in which we're called to care for Christ in our midst, in the community around us, in the community outside, because we recognize there are those who are called to be members of Christ who are not yet in him. And so we ask for that intercession of St. Joseph, the protection of his prayers, the graces that come through his goodness that he has shared with us, to be with us especially on this final day of the consecration, and to go forth with us into our daily lives. Our Lord wants St. Joseph to be more and more known because he is such a powerful intercessor a powerful protector, a patron of the church, because he's one of the patrons of Jesus, who is the church. With St. Joseph at your side, virtue and holiness will increase in your life. Being able to connect with him, have his paternal cloak wrapped around you, you will be protected from spiritual harm. So don't fear what's going to come. Don't fear anything in the world, because St. Joseph is your protector. He's the protector of all of us in the Holy Church, but especially those of us who turn to him for that special protection. Your spiritual father is the father of Jesus, the husband of the mother of God, the terror of demons. That's a wonderful blessing that we have in having St. Joseph as our patron for our parish and for us individually who have gone through this consecration. So continue to rejoice in that today and every day that we have a wonderful protector in Joseph.